Two weeks ago, I passed the CISSP exam with top marks. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what I did and exactly what you need to do to pass the CISSP exam. So stay tuned and you learn about all the resources you're going to need, all the methods, approaches. So what is CISP? CISP stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. It's a very high level cybersecurity exam. It's quite difficult. It's quite senior. It's aimed at managers and CSARs and people high up in the industry however if you are simply a beginner I still think you can do it and you should go for it I certainly did it very very early on in my career people respect you more for that because it's kind of a greater level of accomplishment than if you had 10 or 15 years of experience in the industry that being said there are some people who take the exam and they do have that 10 15 5 whatever years of experience in the industry and they do fail so it's not an easy exam you should not underestimate it you should certainly prepare for it and listen to the resources and the methods I've used in this video to pass the exam. So, information about the CISP exam itself. The CISSP exam uses CAT testing, which is computerized adaptive testing. You can pass or fail anywhere between 125 and 175 questions. It is a four hour exam. I managed to finish it in about two and a half or three hours. There is no going back. Once you pick an answer, that's a final answer. It does start off easy and gets harder. So just keep that in mind that your answer, your selection is your final one. So how it works is the scoring algorithm re-estimates your ability based on the level of difficulty of the question and the answers provided and what it's trying to do is determine a likelihood a probability of you passing so once it reaches level of assurance of there is a 95% chance you will pass the exam if I ask you the rest of the questions you automatically pass that's why that can happen at 125 or at 175 it also works the other way so you can actually fail at 125 um, if it determines you've got no chance of passing the result are immediate which is a good thing you just get a letter printed off um, straight away and I'm going to link some more information in the description about CAT and the CISP exam and the exam outline if you want to see that self-study or crash course to be honest I've got a very simple outlook on this if you're on a budget self-study if your employer is paying for it you've got excess money to just splash out on a fancy course go for it but what I would say is that some of the courses are kind of just designed to teach you the skills needed to pass the exam they're not necessarily designed to make you understand all the knowledge needed to become a CISSP keep that in mind I recommend if you're on a budget self-study if you can afford a course go for it self-studying is really cool it's good to kind of learn how to learn um, again if you haven't done that in a while so um, I really do recommend doing that um, yeah just saves a lot of money quickly mention there is actually a free course as well that is hosted um, by FR Secure. So they run a program every single year. Essentially, it goes over all the CISP domains and gives you all the information necessary needed to pass the exam. I would recommend checking that out. I will link that in the description. Okay, quick overview of all the resources I used to pass the exam. Then I will throw in some other resources you can use too, but I will have my personal recommendations and I'll also mention what is out there to grab. So firstly, three resources or completely free. I recommend you start off by getting a very high level overview of what the CISSP exam entails. So what I would do first is I'd start off by watching Destination Certification, their YouTube series on all the CISSP domains. I don't remember exactly how many videos there are. I think it's probably 20 or 30, um, like 10 minute videos. But what I would do is just watch that. They will kind of give you a very high level overview of what is going on within those domains. Once you have that level of of understanding you can kind of at least start to map things out and put things in places and maybe start to understand what you don't know and what gaps there are just watch them through don't take any notes don't do anything you're going to watch this again and again throughout your kind of study so this is the first time just to get that understanding secondly sunflower notes a huge popular resource what i would recommend is reading through that just kind of skimming through and reading it not in any detail don't take any note for yourself just to get a 
bit of a deeper dive into what resources or what topics, what areas, what domains, what specifics are included within the CISSP exam. The next step would be to look at Kelly Handahan's video, which I will link in the description, and she will talk about the mentality you need for the exam, the kind of hat that you're wearing when you are taking the exam, and the approach and some really amazing tips. Now, I mentioned these three resources because you need them early on. You need to get this early on before you even open your SIS book. We haven't even got to the book yet um, you need to do this before just to get that bird's eye view of what is going on within the exam there's a huge area of content to cover get the bird's eye view and then from then on you can start to fill in the details as you go so that's what i've done in my first week or so first few days secondly what i've done was i got the official cybex cissp i think it was a ninth edition book um, also i got the official cybex question book once you have these two resources you need to start working through them now i did use a special technique that i used to study to work through these but reading through this taking notes soaking up information everyone has different ways of doing it so i'm not going to talk about that technique here i'll probably do that in a separate video for anyone that's interested but essentially you need to read through the book and learn everything in there don't focus on memorization the first pass of the book is just going to be the longest part of your study to be honest this takes a while it took me a good six months or so because I wasn't rushing it I was taking my time I was very busy with work very busy with family I probably had a few hours a week to begin with to even do this and it kind of picked up as I went along when I had more time this is going to take you a while so take your time and do the questions at the end of each chapter make sure you're doing the questions as you go along you should be testing your knowledge don't just read something and assume you're going to remember it make sure you do the questions at the end of the chapter I'll link those books in the description one thing I would say was the question, the Q&A book. So you get a thousand odd questions in there. What I would say is I personally prefer to use online platforms. So you can get a code from the back of the book. You can be asked you for various things or whatever. And you fill in a form essentially to prove that you've actually bought the book and you've got it in front of you. And then it gives you access to the test banks online. So I use the online test banks just because I preferred that than flicking back and through pages. If that works for you, go for it. And then when you've actually done the practice questions whatever your weak areas are what you're scoring less in once you've covered all the domains you kind of need to go back to your book re revise those areas polishing off your knowledge until you've got to about a 90 percent pass rate on those kinds of questions another book i bought was the destination certification cissp book overview it's high level and to be honest i got really lucky and i caught it on the first day it was released and luckily it was timed you know just right before my exam so i could kind of finish the book before I took my exam so I got it quite cheaply on the first day discount but I definitely recommend it it's a very good book that gives you a high level overview and it's significantly shorter than the Cybex book so you know you could easily read that two or three times um, and read the Cybex book just once another thing I think is really important is just have some apps on your phone there's plenty of free ones plenty of paid ones I use the free ones mainly but it's just good to have stuff when you're walking around or whatever you've got CISSP questions ready to go you don't necessarily have to go home open a book or sit at your desk or whatever you've got it on the go so i'd recommend that as well um download just literally go into the app store type in cissp look at the free ones and do that a lot of them would have like free trials so maybe just use a free trial and try and get as many of those questions done in that week of the free trial or two weeks free trial and then just kind of cancel it i did that quite a lot to be honest and that way you just get more and more questions now not all of them are official what i will say is it's good to have different questions but if you get to a point where you're reading something and you can tell it's outside of the content it's not official it's got bad reviews etc etc don't do it you're wasting your time you're probably messing things up for yourself the best resource i will recommend to be honest i'd say this is why i passed the exam is something called study notes and theory by luke armet and he has an amazing online platform which essentially has videos some resources except i just concentrated on the question he has got some really detailed questions which are amazing compared to the other questions they're significantly harder now these questions I will go out on a limb and say are probably harder than the actual exam itself if we're just looking at my scores I passed the exam I failed almost every single one of his question banks tests literally got about 50% every single time 40% even the weak
week before my exam, I was getting 50 or 40% on Luke Ahmed's study notes and theory question exam. So it just shows a level of difficulty. However, forget scores. What is good about his questions are they are really, really dense, long, and each answer, each option has long explanations of why that was the answer, why the other answers weren't the answer, what would have been the second best answer, etc., etc. what you should have spotted in the question. So in terms of the mentality, it prepares you to actually pass the exam. Um, I really do think it's literally the best resource you can use to pass the exam. It does cost, but I would definitely recommend you paying for it. So try it out. I will link that in the description too. Now, there are other resources. Luke Ahmed, again, has got a book called Thinking Like a Manager. There's also 11 Hours Sis, various other books. I will link them in the description. There's also a CBK book, which goes into, I guess it's a bit more technical and a bit more detailed than the Cybex book. However, one or two main resources as in your books and just go from there. Then, you know, you have stuff to supplement it along the side, but I would not recommend buying the Cybex book and the CBK book and various other long books for Sis because you'll just get confused. It's just too much, you know, use one resource, learn that and ignore the rest. Now, just to wrap up, I know you've got this. If I can do it, you can do it. And to be completely honest, it will benefit you well before you even pass into your learning journey while you're picking up stuff on in the Sis study journey. It's all about that. I remember like six, seven months in, I became a better professional, I became more knowledgeable. Right before my exam, I felt like I'd learned so much that it didn't even matter if I passed or failed because the information I had was just amazing at that stage. So don't worry about passing or failing, just concentrate on learning and understanding the topics. So thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, share and subscribe and click somewhere here to see uh, my latest video.